Welcome back to my channel Duct Tape Mechanic. In this video I'll be showing you how to wirelessly connect two Arduinos using a RF module. For To demonstrate this application I'll be making a wireless motion activated alarm but the actual uses for this application can be much more complex than that with distances ranging up to 20 feet. Um, so if you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel Duct Tape Mechanic for more DIY and tinkering videos. In one of my previous videos, I showed how to use this cheap 433 MHz RF transmitter and receiver with an Arduino. If you're interested in that, um, I've linked that to the description of this video. Um, in that video, a person commented that uh, wouldn't it be cool if I could figure out a way how to make, uh, these, make two Arduinos communicate with each other using an RF module. And so this is how this video came about. Um, in order to do that, I had to figure out a way to electronically control the switching of the remote. Um, so the first thing I did was um, take off the cover of the remote and analyze the circuit. I noticed that the button used to make the two bare contact surfaces to come together on the PCB board and therefore turn on the switch was essentially just a sticker. I guess that's high quality Chinese electronics for you. Um, I took the button off by using my X-Acto knife. In the next step, I soldered two jumper wires to the contacts of the transmitter PCB. As you can see, that when the two wires come together, the transmitter turns on and sends out a 433 megahertz signal. In the next step, I placed a PC817 optocoupler into my breadboard and attached a 1 kilo ohm resistor to the anode side. After that, I connected the yellow jumper wire from the transmitter to the collector of the PC817 and I connected the orange to the emitter. In this particular example, I'm using two Arduinos to wirelessly communicate with each other to make a wireless motion activated alarm. Um, therefore, I just wired up a PIR motion detector. This is a very popular sensor in the Arduino community, and I just made it an input on pin number two. Um, I'll discuss the code here briefly. Um, for this example, we'll call the Arduino with the input sensor as the transmitter Arduino. Um, you can use whatever sensor you like um, as the input. For example, you can use a proximity sensor or a ultrasonic sensor, whatever the application is. This is just a real basic example. Next, I wired a red wire going from pin number seven of the Arduino to the one kilo ohm resistor, which is attached to the anode of the PC817. I also wired a black wire from the cathode of the PC817 to the ground of the Arduino. The code to the transmitter Arduino is simple. I made pin number 2 an input and pin number 7 an output. When motion is detected, pin number 2 goes high therefore sending 5 volts to the resistor which is hooked to the anode side of the PC817 which turns on the phototransistor therefore turning on the transmitter and it turns it on for 5 seconds before turning it off. Next was wiring up the receiver Arduino portion of the project. I started by wiring up the power to the receiver by connecting the red power in wire 
to the positive wire of a 5 volt adapter using alligator clips. Then I did the same for the black wire. Um, I apologize for the colors of the alligator clips. I was running low. Then I inserted a PC817 into a breadboard and attached a 1 kilo ohm resistor to the anode side of it, just like as we had done in the first part. Um, then to the other side of the resistor, I connected an alligator clip and clipped it to the positive output of the receiver. Next, I connected a black jumper wire to the cathode side of the PC817, and then I used an alligator wire to connect it to the yellow negative output of the receiver. Next, I attached an orange wire to the pin number 2 of the Arduino and connected it to the collector pin of the PC817. Then I attached a yellow jumper wire to the ground of the Arduino and connected it to the emitter pin of the PC817. Just as the input, the output can be anything you like, for example, a relay. But uh, for the simplicity purposes, I'm just using a 5-volt buzzer, which I attach to pin number 7. For the code of the receiver Arduino, I used the input pull-up function on pin number 2 to keep it in the high state. And I made pin number 7 an output. Basically, when the receiver gets the signal from the transmitter, it will send 5 volts to the, res to the resistor and to the anode of the PC817. When that happens, the phototransistor will turn on and ground pin number 2, which will cause it to go low. This will in turn turn on the buzzer for 5 seconds. To demonstrate this, I have the transmitter Arduino on the left and the receiver Arduino on the right. Um, I wanted to keep everything in the same frame of the video, so uh, they're only separated out by about a foot and a half. But I've had success with this project with, dis with distances of up to 20 feet.